Ooh, who are we blocking? The sun? You can't block the sun. You can't block someone who wants to be with you. Right? I'm seeing here right now where you're refusing to acknowledge someone's presence. I don't know. You're in a mood. You don't want it. Um, you're telling them, you're calling them out here, but they mean well though. So finally someone wants to be with you and you don't want to deal with them because you feel like they are hiding something from you. Okay. Let's see Scorpius, where are you going to take me today? The deepest part of the unknown. Okay. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your romantic connection. If you want to learn how to manifest using different kinds of technique, I will be talking about today. Um, the mantra that I use to remove negativity and attract prosperity by using obsidian and citrine. So let's right off the bat here. From what I'm seeing is you're in a position in your life where you're saying that I'm sorry, but I cannot continue this. Okay, because that's a seven of wands. You reach to a point, this is it's not about a deal breaker, it's more of like it's it just won't. It just won't. And then the seven of wands now, this is you distancing yourself, this is you understanding that, you know, at some point in your life you're realizing that there has to be, you know, there has to be an end to this, right? So and you're choosing it today. <laughs> that's seven of wands. Now, I feel like you cannot. Because the sun is here. I feel like the sun card is looking at you. Meaning the person that wants to be with you. They're happy. They're excited. The sun is also showing here um, from what I'm seeing. Of course, this is someone who's telling you. It's like, you know, like you guys have connection. Soulmate. All these things. Which is good. However, with the high priestess with the king of wands. This is where kind of you don't like it. Because there's something unknown. There's something that, um, you know, like it's a mystery to you. Normally, you go for the mysterious, but now you just probably learn. It's like, no, I just don't want it. I'm not going to want it, tell. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so High Priestess with the King of Wands, they have a, 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 a secret intention to you, so you don't believe that their intention is the Sun card. So you have been in, in a very, you know, not tough, but you just don't want to anymore. Like, you just don't want to believe anymore. Okay. Okay, you're fine doing yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. You're more about you. You know, you have evolved. I'm seeing here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, it's more of like you understand that my life is better now because I am just being me. Your person doesn't understand that. Eight of Swords with an Empress. For you, you are the shizzle to manizzle. Okay? Because Eight of Swords with an Empress... This is someone finds you like loving, caring, and giving. Um, but they, with the Eight of Swords, they just, you know, like, you know, there's one of those days that you're not in the mood to talk to them or something like that. And they're kind of stressing about this with the Eight of Swords. So they've, you've distanced yourself from them. And they don't know why. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords here and the Two of Wands. All right. Um... Huh. You cut them off because you waited too long and now you don't want it. Okay, I see you. Now, Six of Wands, Ace of Swords. It feels like you want to see other people, options-wise. I see a big shift here. There's no obsession. You just don't want it anymore. Yep, Scorpius can be like that. When, you're, when they're hot, they're hot. When you're with you, ooh, when they're done, oh, there's no way. Yeah, and this is what I'm seeing for the Scorpio here. Because you got a six of one seven and an ace of swords. You could be talking to other people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because you cut them off. Okay. Ooh. Seven of cups with a higher friend. You're confused between do I want a relationship, getting married, or something like that. You're more about um, with the seven of cups and the higher friend. There's nothing for you right now that you're looking forward with this person. It's more of like a, a smoke and mirrors, basically. You understand that um, more, you know, the more that you spend time with them, the more it's not true with the Seven of Cups. The more that you see them, it's all a lie and an illusion. So you're getting a wake-up call here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and you realize it by their action, the breadcrumbs. And what if you're allergic to gluten? Because the Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles, 
you took a break from this because you realize it's like, why am I begging? The number one thing that people are looking for in their entire life is their soulmate. The remedy that I give them, wear a red thread bracelet. Can I name drop? Rihanna's been wearing this one for a very long time. In just the first hour, hundreds of order with a red thread bracelet. If I was you and you're looking for a soulmate, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Order one today. Yep, why are you begging? I don't know why you're begging. I don't know, Scarborough. You tell me. But you realize it now that you're an empress. You are worth more than anything else. Seven of Pentacles here and the Justice card. You're asking yourself right now. I feel like this is a... Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I heard something. Um, Seven of Pentacles with the Justice card. Um, it's like you're waiting for the situation to improve. You, It didn't improve. You know what's improving though? Mm -hmm. Is our amazing, of course, holiday deals right now. Get it while it lasts. Are for, are for, are these are eternity. Of course, red thread, real gold bracelet. This is free or you can get it, of course, also. But this is free or you get the couple um, if you get any of our holiday collection. And right now, the obsidian and the natural citrine, the hottest item ever. Because I've been teaching everyone in my classes where... Um, you know, remove negativity, attract prosperity. And I, I didn't forget, you guys, that I said last time, if you want to learn how to break a certain pattern in your life, and I'm going to host a workshop for you guys, a free one. Yeah, I said it's free. Okay, and you sent the hearts at the comments. Ooh, darling, I know. So keep sending those hearts. I want you to go to our website, sign to our email list so I can announce it directly to you guys. So I know how to get in touch with you. To all those people who put the hearts last reading, because you want to know how to break a pattern, go to our website, just join the email. So that way, when I send it out, you get the invite because it's going to be like a Zoom or something like that. Okay? Because I'm going to teach more. Breaking a pattern. Because this is what I'm feeling. Maybe you don't even need to learn how to break a pattern. It's hard. It's tough. But it's worth it. So when I and an F myself from certain things that I do, because life is repeating every year, oh, life has changed for the better. Now yours, ooh, sell, sell, sell. Feels like out with the old, in with the new. Because you have a lover's card here. Mm -hmm. So you understand that this person who was pursuing you for the longest time, and you guys were probably here, you know, spending time a lot. You understand like, no, I deserve better. I deserve someone who sees me, understands me, and you're making space for it. Does it make sense? You're making room for it. And I see that I is here. I see it, you know, justice, you get what you deserve because you are patient. Okay, lovers, justice card in the seven of pentacles. It feels like you have brought this upon you. Now, let's see where this is going, okay? Oh, and then unfortunately today, I won't be able to do extended reading, okay? Because I'm busy making your, you know, your amulets. Nine of Wands. Oh, okay. I feel like it's an open-ended, okay? Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, Zero Swords. There's still a lot of things that you are questioning, okay? So I feel like you're really trying to break the pattern. You see it from an outside perspective. But you have fear, because Nine of Wands is trauma. Eight of Cups is your emotion and feelings. Because you're questioning yourself. Two of Swords with a Four of Wands. You know, basically your argument here or your discussion within oneself is like, should I stay or should I go? Well, lucky for you, I stay, meaning I'm always here. So tomorrow we're going to continue this reading. Don't forget, last day, eatreadlove.me, get your forever fortune. The obsidian citrine is the best. You, you can thank me later.